Okay, hey, it's uh, Jason with RPC Electronics, and in our last uh, tutorial, uh, lesson five, or less, uh, last section of the tutorial, uh, we made some uh, some uh, slight adjustments to our to our schematic, added in this protection diode as well as this uh, push button switch. I think I forgot to mention that this is a momentary switch, so it's spring loaded. So when you press it, it engages or create. Or completes the circuit and when you let go it's going to open back up and break the circuit so it's a momentary switch it doesn't stay engaged when you press it and let go uh, you may notice there is one mistake I made and uh, we'll go ahead and fix that real quick uh, I'm gonna zoom in I think you'll get a clue uh, hopefully you realize that the junction is missing now Again, this is a case where we know this is connected, but it's a convention. It's a good idea to just get in the good habit of uh, putting these things in for anyone who just happens to be looking at your schematic and would like to uh, know exactly what you meant them to, uh, to know about it. So there we go. Let's click a junction in there, and we're going uh, to click the fit tool so we get a full view. We're going to save again and we'll look the schematic over everything looks pretty good so here we go we're going to start on our board in this lesson now, obviously this this is going to be the next couple lessons of the board um, one of the uh, one of the little tools up here that's handy is the board tool well it's not really a tool it's just meant for switching and what we're going to do is we're going to click that once and then this message here is going to ask you do you want to create a board from this schematic and yes we do so let's click yes and immediately you're going to notice this we've got this big square and we've got all these parts sitting down here in the bottom left corner and may not make a whole lot of sense so let's go over a couple of tools on here uh, familiarize you with uh, with the board layout luckily a lot of the tools here are very similar to the tools in the schematic editor uh, the the move tool the group tool uh, the delete tool is not going to really work here because we really have to delete on the schematic for it to be changed on the board. The naming tool, uh, and in this case, instead of using a wire tool, we're going to use a route tool to, to route our air wires. And our air wires are these yellow lines here. And if you were to go back and look at the way your schematic is drawn, these air wires are connecting these particular parts just like it is on the schematic and you're gonna see what those air wires do later on it'll, it'll make a lot more sense um, as far as placing the parts you'll notice that I zoom in and it's just plain black just just avoid uh, we want something that we can work from so we're gonna go up here and there's a little tool here with some dots called the grid uh, or it's just the grid settings we're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up this grid tool and I like to work. Uh, I like to work with either a millimeter or a half millimeter grid. So, for starters, we're going to go to the millimeter. Uh, we're going to choose that here, and we're going to change this to one millimeter. So that means every block on the grid is going to be one millimeter wide and tall. I also click the display on so we can actually see the grid. So when we hit OK and we zoom in a bit, there's our grid. Our grid's actually going to show up. Uh, for starters. Uh, once we have our grid set, we want to uh, get the board border moved to, uh, uh, to. First of all, we want to align with the grid that we've chosen, and we want to uh, we want to size our board down. Here's our first trick that we're going to learn. When you're clicking on an object, you may notice that there's a good example. This part here is not aligned. the The crosshairs or the origin, as it's called, is not aligned with the grid the way to make that snap to the grid is you're going to hold down the control key and you're going to click at the same time and that is going to cause it to snap to the grid so I'm going to click I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click the mouse and oh we got to have the move tool there's a <laughs> you got to make sure I have the move tool uh, selected I'm going to click and you notice it jumped to the grid so now everything is or at least this part is on the grid and that's that's how we're going to uh, place all of our parts. Now, we, whenever you move to a smaller grid, you can do the exact same thing. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that to, that trick we just learned to snap that corner 
for the uh, for this corner of the board and we'll go up and do the same thing here we're going to snap it to the grid and in this case I think we're going to work with a board that's about well we'll go about 50 millimeters tall and then we're going to do the same thing on the other corners but real quick I want to point out right here anytime you are hovering over the uh, the layout the grid these numbers right here are going to tell you where you are on the grid so if I hover right over where we just moved that to we're at 0 and 50 which means we're 0 origin and 50 up from that origin we're going to do the same thing here we're going to do our control click to make it snap to the grid and let's let's go ahead and just make this board 50 by 50 uh, square and never hurts to just zoom in to make sure you are on the right point even though it does say it up here sometimes it helps to just zoom in to make sure that is in the right place and let's do this last corner and we'll zoom in and there we are at 50 50 here our fit tool and now since the workspace isn't as big the board space uh, everything zoomed in a little bit more okay uh, now that we have a uh, a basic board size that we want to work with now we've got all these parts here so we're gonna start moving these parts onto the board and we'll go ahead and move a couple and I'll show you how to uh, well really it's up to your imagination but it's also function as well you want to keep parts uh, that are linked to each other or connect to each other try to keep stuff close to each other in a logical manner so we'll start with uh, make sure our uh, our move tool is selected we'll start with our power jack we're gonna do our uh, we're going to do our, our control oops I'm sorry uh, we're gonna do our control mouse click there we are and as you notice it snapped to the grid now again our right click is going to allow us to rotate our part and we're gonna zoom right in here and let's go and center this and you'll notice in the top left we're at 11 uh, by 25 and 25 is obviously halfway through uh, between 0 and 50 so we know we're halfway and then uh, it's just a matter of deciding do we want this connector all the way on the board do we want it hanging off any in this case I'm gonna go as close as I can to uh, on the board with it hanging off just a little and you'll notice uh, what we'll do is we'll come back and then we're gonna well we're gonna click and we're going to uh, that will set the part in place but we're gonna come back and we'll we'll adjust the grid and we'll be able to move this a little bit more uh, than a one inch but one inch is a good rough start okay the next thing we'll do is we will grab the voltage regulator and again we we'll use our control click function and in this case we know that the uh, pin all the way to the left is the input to the regulator but we want to make room for that diode in between there so let's go ahead and just zoom in and we're going to place this uh, with a little bit of a gap and we're going to click okay we'll uh, we'll stop there and uh, in the next lesson we'll finish uh, we'll finish uh, placing all these parts and then I'll I'll show you some little little tricks to making sure everything is kind of where it should be on the board and uh, we'll go from there so uh, Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next lesson.